everyone this is ami patel in this session i am going to discuss about zener diode then we will see the zener diode as a voltage regulator and at last we will see the circuit diagram for dc power supply so let us begin with the zener diode what is zener diode zener diode is a special pn junction diode which can be operated in the forward bias as well as the reverse bias region we had seen the normal pn junction diode in the previous video so the pn junction diode can only be operated into the forward bias region in the reverse bias region we are not operating the pn junction diode now the zener diode is a special purpose diode which can be operated in both forward and the reverse bias condition the symbolic representation for the zener diode is as shown in the figure you will find that the flat side is the n0 terminal and the opposite side is the cathode terminal now we will see the working of zener diode in the forward bias region for that the circuit diagram is as shown in the figure the dc battery the dc voltage source resistor and the zener diode is connected in series and the anode terminal of the zener is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the cathode terminal of the zener diode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery this is how zener diode is connected in the forward bias region now we will see the vi characteristic for the zener diode now the graph of voltage versus current is being plotted and you will see as we increase the voltage you will find initially there is no current flowing so current is almost zero after certain voltage you will find a increase in the current and uh, this is similar to the normal pn junction diode vi characteristic so uh, after cutting voltage the current starts flowing so vi characteristic of zener diode and pn junction diode in forward bias region is same now we will see the zener diode connected in the reverse bias condition so circuit diagram which consists of a dc power supply that is a battery or resistor that is a current limiting resistor and the zener diode connected in series is shown in the figure anode terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and cathode terminal of zener diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery this is how it is connected in the reverse bias condition now we will plot the vi characteristic for the zener diode so graph of voltage versus current is as shown in the figure you will find as we increase the uh, supply voltage initially very small amount of current is flowing and this current is of the order of we can say nano ampere or very less than that and this current is called the reverse saturation current which is almost zero we can say and after certain voltage you can see in the characteristic a sudden change or sudden increase in the current can be seen and this voltage at which the high current is flowing through the zener diode is called the zener or the breakdown voltage and zener diode can be operated in this particular region and this is called the breakdown region and at that time the high current is flowing and the voltage across zener diode is constant the current through the zener diode should not exceed the maximum limit of the current that is shown in the figure and that is given by iz maximum so if the current through the zener diode increases beyond this maximum current then the diode can damage so this is how zener diode can be operated into the reverse bias condition and this operating region is called the breakdown region now we will see zener diode as a regulator zener diode is sometimes also called the voltage regulator diode because it keeps the voltage across it constant and the current through the zener diode is varying or it is changing you can see in the figure the dc power supply the resistor and the zener diode is connected in series 
Now, if we are increasing the uh, battery voltage, for example, it is a variable uh, supply. If you are increasing its value, then to the voltage across zener diode remains constant. That is Vz. But the current through the zener diode will be increasing. This is how the zener diode keeps the constant voltage across it. That is why it is called the voltage regulator. So it regulates the voltage or it keeps the voltage across it constant. In zener diode, there can occur two breakdown phenomena. One is called the Zener breakdown and the other phenomena is called the avalanche breakdown. So any of this two phenomena is occurring at the time of breakdown. So what is the difference between this two breakdown phenomena that we will see first. Zener breakdown is occurring at the junction which is heavily doped and the depletion region is narrow. Whereas the avalanche breakdown phenomena is occurring at the junction which is lightly doped and the depletion region is wide. Now Zener breakdown occurs because of the high electric field or heavy electric field. Avalanche breakdown occurs due to the collision of electrons with the atoms inside the PN junction. Now Zener breakdown is occurring for the breakdown voltage which is line from 5 to 8 volt or for the smaller value of the breakdown voltage this Zener breakdown phenomena is occurring and the Zener diode which is having the greater breakdown voltage that is greater than 8 volt this avalanche breakdown phenomena is occurring. Now in Zener breakdown the junction gets back to the original position when we remove the apply voltage and in avalanche breakdown uh, the junction is destroyed permanently. Now in the Zener breakdown, the current is due to the electrons and in the avalanche breakdown, the electron hole pairs are constituting current which is thermally generated and that is due to the thermal effect. So this is the difference between the Zener breakdown and the avalanche breakdown. When the Zener diode is fabricated for the small breakdown voltage which is 5 to 8 volt or less than 5 volt, the Zener breakdown phenomena is occurring and the Zener diode uh, fabricated for the breakdown voltage greater than 8 volt in that avalanche breakdown phenomena is occurring at the junction. Now we will see the VI characteristic for this two different breakdown phenomena. You will find that voltage versus current is being plotted in the first quadrant the forward characteristic is shown. The forward characteristic for uh, the Zener diode is same as the PN junction diode as shown in the figure. And in the third quadrant, the reverse bias characteristic is plotted. And you will find the reverse bias characteristic for two different phenomena is shown. For the Zener breakdown, the breakdown voltage is less and for the avalanche breakdown, the breakdown voltage is higher. Now we will see the Zener diode as a voltage regulator. You can see the circuit diagram where the DC source is connected in series with the resistor and a Zener diode. Zener diode is connected in reverse bias manner when it is operated as a voltage regulator. And across the Zener diode, a load resistance is connected. Supply voltage is denoted with the Vs and the current limiting resistance that is Rs and the current which is flowing through the source is denoted with the Is. The current which is flowing through the Zener diode is denoted with the Iz and the current which is flowing through the load is denoted with the Il. So these are the different currents. Just by applying the Kirchhoff law in the first loop, you will find that Is is equal to Vs minus Vz divided by Rs. And the voltage across the center diode is denoted with the Vz and this voltage remains constant. That's why the current flowing through the RL, that is Il is equal to Vz divided by RL. And the current flowing through the Zener diode is equal to Iz is equal to Is minus Il. 
Now you will see the pi characteristic of zener diode for the reverse bias condition and in this characteristic you will find when the supply voltage is very small is at that time only the small amount of current is flowing that is reverse saturation current and which is of very small value and if the supply voltage that is vs is greater than the breakdown voltage of zener diode then the high amount of current is flowing and zener diode is operated into the breakdown region now this current is iz and this current iz should not be less than iz minimum otherwise it will not keep the voltage across it constant and the iz that is the zener current should not be greater than the iz maximum if this current increases beyond this iz maximum then the zener diode will damage permanently so the current flowing through the zener diode should be between iz minimum and iz maximum if the current through the zener is less than iz minimum then the voltage across zener diode will not remain constant and if the current through the zener diode is greater than iz maximum then the zener diode will get destroyed or will get damaged so the current through the zener diode should be between this minimum and maximum limit now we will see the zener diode as a voltage regulator when input voltage is very what happens when the input voltage is changing and how the zener diode provides the voltage regulation that means how zener diode provides the constant voltage across it you will see the same circuit diagram supply voltage vs resistor rs and zener diode is connected in series and across zener diode the load is connected zener diode is biased in the reverse biased manner operate it as a voltage regulator now this supply voltage that is vs is very that means input is very for example let us consider that a supply voltage vs increases as supply voltage increases the current is the supply current is also increases but rl is constant that's why IL is also constant because IL is equal to VZ divided by RL and VZ is constant that is voltage across the zener diode and due to IL remains constant the current through the zener diode should increase and this current through the zener diode should not be greater than IZ maximum or it should be less than IZ maximum to provide the constant voltage across the zener diode as shown in the figure now for example we consider vs decreases due to that is decreases the current through the rl that is il is equal to vz divided by rl remains constant and due to that the current through the zener diode that is iz will decrease and this iz should be greater than iz minimum to provide the constant voltage across the zener diode and this provides a constant voltage across the load that shows that even if your input is varying even if your input is changing the voltage across load remains constant so this is how zener diode is providing a voltage regulation or it is providing a constant voltage across the load now we will see the circuit diagram for regulated dc power supply we had seen the block diagram for the dc regulated power supply and now we have already seen the each and every blocks in detail so we can draw the circuit diagram for the dc regulated power supply the input is the alternating signal that is 230 volt 50 hertz frequency ac from the mains and that is given to the transformer primary transformer secondary will step down this transformer will step down the ac voltage and the step down voltage is for example 16 volt as shown in the figure so 
ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज कन्वर्टिंग और हाई ए सी वोल्टेज टू द लोअर ए सी वोल्टेज सो ओनली द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द सिग्नल इज बींग डिक्रीज नाउ दिस ऑल्टरनेटिंग सिग्नल इज गिवन टू द ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर बिकॉज वी हैड सीन नंबर ऑफ रेक्टिफायर एंड वी हैड एनालाइज दैट फ्रॉम द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द रेक्टिफायर दैट द ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर इज द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ ऑल द रेक्टिफायर सो दैट्स वाई द रेक्टिफायर इज कनेक्टेड एंड इट कन्वर्ट्स द ऑल्टरनेटिंग सिग्नल इन टू द DC signal and this DC is the pulsating DC and then this pulsating DC is passed through the filter here for the simplicity the capacitor filter is kept and this filter will try to remove or minimize the ripples present into the pulsating DC and then that is given to the regulator so zener diode here is acting as a voltage regulator so it will provide the constant voltage constant dc voltage across the load so this is the circuit diagram for simple dc power supply so here with this i am ending this session over here thank you very much